What's up, YouTube? I've got a problem. Uh, I've got this awesome compressor over in the corner, and it's taking up too much space. So here's what I'm thinking. So yeah, it's hanging out like over in the corner, and we've got all that lip space like over on the apron. I don't know what you call that, the ledge there. And I want to kind of get it further up into the corner. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. All right, so the first order of business is to measure this mamma jammer. And uh, what I'm coming up with is I'm looking like 24 inches deep is plenty big enough. And then same thing uh, wide, 24 inches seems plenty big enough. And really all we care about is the base, the feet. And uh, they'll fit on there no problem. All right, so I've got a crazy simple design, making a little two by four uh, frame up for a platform. And uh, it's 24 by 24 inches square. Uh, that's something in millimeters, I don't know what. And um, so basically these end pieces are 24 inches long. Uh, these three uh, joists, stringers, they're not stringers, joists, uh, whatever. These things are 21 inches long. Crazy simple, so I'm gonna glue, uh, I'm gonna pre-drill, I'm going to screw, <laughs> and uh, put this bamboo jammer together. Let's do it. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna put some uh, half inch OSB uh, on top of this for the decking. And um, but I'm gonna put two layers of half inch, which adds up to an inch, an inch of decking. Uh, that should be plenty strong um, in my non-engineering mind. And uh, there are lots of ways to cut um, big pieces of wood. Uh, my personal favorite, table saw. This is the uh, Delta T2, I can't remember the name of it. Um, there's a user group on Facebook and everything for it. Um, it's, uh, for this price point, it's a pretty awesome saw. I've been very happy with it. So let's go ahead and uh, rip this down. And the great thing is it's 24 inch square. So I've set my fence to uh, 24 inches. So basically I just run this through a couple times and I'm done. Like, ah, I don't have to like chalk line it or do any of that crap. It's just, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get it done. So I've got the uh, two 24 inch pieces of half inch OSB cut. And I'm just gonna run a uh, scroll line down the middle where to put the screws down the middle. I'm gonna glue and screw the daylights out of this thing and uh, make a crazy skook them. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I um, went to Woodcraft recently and uh, they're not a sponsor of the channel yet. But uh, what I did do is um, I bought one of these member jammers, a little silicone uh, glue brush thing, which I wish I'd had about five minutes ago when I was gluing up those bits. But I'm definitely going to use it on this. A roller, a glue roller would be amazing for this, but I don't have one. This will have to do. Those are the brakes. Oh, and if you don't have one of these guys, they're really cool. I saw a bunch of other YouTubers using them, and uh, it's like the glue bot. I'll, uh, I'll link it and get it anywhere. Um, Amazon is a popular choice. And, um, yeah, this is just... I thought this was a gimmick and it'd be like a stupid, like, oh, I don't wanna get that, I'd be like everybody else, but it's actually really cool, it's, it's, it's handy. Is done. This is time for layer two. Two. Oops. Ah. 
Zegler has been applied. Now, notice I'm keeping my screw line going the same direction. Ha <laughs> ha. So, as you can see, we have ourselves a, a black bulb, a black bulb to put the hacker brush upon. Okay, we're at tight quarters here, but um, basically I've got it where it's gonna be. Check it out, it's all yeah, there. And uh, I'm just gonna measure how far down I need a leg, because this thing's a little bit like Lieutenant Dan, and ain't got no legs. Twelve and three quarter inches. Remember that. Now, did you remember that measurement? Measurement? It's uh, 12 and three quarter inches. I remember, did you remember? I, I did my job. You doing your job? All right. Um, so 12 and three quarter. So uh, that, that fit like perfect. Uh, now I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna make like an L for the corner and then I'll put like another block up in the middle and you'll, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, it's fine. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, da da da. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. By the way, I've been rocking this um, Hercules saw from Harbor Freight for a while, and uh, for the most part, I've poo pooed on kind of anything electrical from Harbor Freight because there's a tendency to burst into flames and die in a smoky disaster. But uh, this one hasn't been bad. I've read a bunch of reviews, and um, folks have actually put it up against the DeWalt stuff for, uh, for accuracy and awesomeness. Um, I don't know if that's true because I have never had a DeWalt uh, compound miter saw. Um, but this thing's pretty slick. Uh, I dig the, um, the super simple, um, you can see the, the blade light on it. I don't know if you can actually see it from there. I'm too lazy to move the camera, so you just have a picture in your head. Um, okay, I'll move it, I'll move the camera, fine, gosh. So, da -da, you can see the line you know where the blade will go. And it's better than the laser things because the laser ones, um, they, they, they just never line up perfectly, uh, apparently. Um, whereas this, it's like a shadow uh, from a little LED up in the top of the saw. So like, psh, it's gotta line up, it's simple. I like simple. Um, so anywho, uh, I'm gonna put the legs together and um, that will end up, that'll end the fabrication and then we just gotta do some pipe. So, hey, you might be wondering a couple things. One, why am I using treated lumber? Well, because it's what I had laying around. Um, I literally had to move treated lumber scraps out of the way of the compressor as I was moving it around. And I figured rather than keep moving it around, cut it up, use it. Bada bing, you know the rest. Um, and then you might also have noticed that uh, I only put like two screws in this. And you're thinking, wait a second, a big ass compressor is going to be standing on this thing. Don't you want more than that? <laughs> Doesn't matter because two reasons. One, glue is stronger than screws. Oh my gosh, this glue is stupid strong. Um, it is stronger than the wood it is holding together. It is amazing PVA glue, ha <laughs> ha! Can't say enough. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's really good, it's really strong. And the other is the, the, the force, if we're gonna get, we're gonna get a little engineer here. Uh, the force um, was actually gonna be like compressor pushed down. And, um, and, and, and this, this thing is crazy strong on its uh, long axis, especially because we've, uh, <laughs> we've braced it like this, you know, so it's not gonna bow the other way. So, you know, this is, this is very strong in this direction is what I'm trying to say. We're, we're good. We're good. Oh, and we also need a piece of wood to uh, kind of make this thing easier to affix to the platform. Uh, so I am going to scarf on, I don't know if that's, I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna put on a, uh, a little block of wood that will make this thing easier to attach to as a platform. All right, so this represents the thickness of the wood that we are attaching it to. This is the piece here, and I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna keep it shy of the top because I don't wanna run into fitment issues up against the uh, OSB. And I get that all this glue and stuff is overkill, but there ain't no kill like overkill. Voila! All right, let's test fit this guy and uh, see how we're looking. Da-da-da, yeah, okay, so... 
Uh, da, 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 da. Ah! Oh yeah, that fits in there perfect. That's tied up neat like a doggy's dinner. That's a British saying, y'all. Nah, no, there's a better on there. No, no, it's all right. Eh. Uh, that's the one. Eh. Uh, it's all right. I like that one. I'm gonna use that one. Now all we need to do is paint the thing. As you can see, I'm lazy. Oh, there we go. I am lazy, I mean efficient. Alright, so uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's done. Like, um, pretty straightforward, right? And you might be wondering how I'm going to lift that big ass compressor onto this little ass um, platform. Well, I have a plan. Alright, so you can see I have uh, screwed in two blocks of scrap wood, and basically this frame just kind of fits right over those. So here we go. We have got the uh, the platform in place. It is all screwed in. Uh, it's pretty pretty darn skookum. Um, it's not going anywhere. Now comes the trick of uh, moving this huge compressor up there. Now there are a couple ways to go about this. I've had many thoughts. One. I could uh, invite my friend over with his uh, cherry picker and um, that, you know, engine hoist and lift it up with that. That's how we got it in here off the truck. It was like an hour away. Ah, it's a long way for him to drive. My next thought was to remove the, um, the, 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 the condensate, the water, the, the, um, the clear valve thing, <sighs> the valve on the bottom thing that lets you blow out the water. Um, and, uh, and just use my uh, floor jack to lift it up. That would work, but it'd still be kind of tippily wippily up in the air. Um, and it'd be a two person operation. So my most recent thought is to uh, use the CERT method. So CERT is like this community emergency response tactical, I, I forget what it stands for. But basically I learned a thing. It's like in case of natural disaster, um, yeah, you need to like rescue a person that's stuck underneath debris. You basically uh, crib, just like you're um, lifting a house. You, you just crib underneath it. Um, you only lift it a little bit at a time. So that's my idea. I'm gonna like basically keep on like, you know, just, just tilt it just a little bit, put a block in the corner. Just got three feet. And then I guess I'll just pivot it over. I haven't thought of that, that far. I'm sure it'll be fine, be fine. Yeah, I'd feel a lot better moving this thing around if it didn't have like 130 PSI in it. So I'm going to go ahead and let the air out. Uh, I think that's a smart move. Oh my God, that's loud. I thought I had these on. It's terrible. Wow, can you hear that thunder out there? It's crazy, it's raining hard. Power could go out any minute. The lights could go out. This is getting intense, I like it. Okay, so it's done, it's up there. And I'm not gonna show you how I did it, and here's why. So real talk time. Um, how I got it up there was pretty janky. Um, almost killed me, my wife, uh, probably would've injured my kid, who knows, we were all out here. And um, 
So my genius idea was, um, you saw me, you know, cranking it up on the blocks. Well, that was, that was good up until a point that I started getting a little sketchy. That was going to Jenga fall on me. And then, um, I got out the floor jack and, uh, so I actually removed, um, the, uh, the drain, uh, plumbing down here. I removed that and that way, you know, we get the floor jack up underneath it. And um, wasn't worried about the floor jack itself. I mean, I think it's like three and a half ton skookum uh, floor jack. It's ridiculous. No worries there. But the transition was a little sketchy. Uh, almost dropped it. Um, did not go well. But short story long, it's on there. So I'm not showing you because I don't want anybody copying me because it was dumb. I'd sue me. It was dumb. It was. It was stupid. Anyway. So now I've saved some space. The garage is a little more feng shui. I dig it. Till next time. Peace.